Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina and today I have a garage sale haul and I have actually promised you guys this haul for a while now but for some crazy reason one thing led to another and I was never able to share it with you. Meanwhile like I really want to dig into these things. Some of them need to be washed. I did share with you guys in a Dollar Tree haul the benches that we picked up for 20 bucks at a garage sale. So um, I'm gonna just kind of, I think I might have a small clip of video or some pictures. I'm gonna insert those, but I love, love those benches. That was like the best thing I found in a garage sale in a long time because they were actually in my Walmart shopping cart and I was like, oh, I don't want to order them because I don't really want the table, but they come with the table and I'll have to give the table away or see if anybody I know wants it. And then it turned out that I got them at the garage sale and I didn't have to buy the table. They were willing to sell the table. Actually, it was probably 20 bucks for the whole set. But when I told the guy that I just wanted the benches, he was like, oh, yeah, that's just for the benches. And I was like, that's fine, because to me, it was like. 200 something, almost $300 for the set at walmart.com or 20 bucks and I don't have to put anything together. It was a no brainer. I love them. They have storage underneath the little seats. They are perfect for me in my teeny tiny house. Anything that has hidden storage is a big thumbs up in my world. Here is one of the awesome little benches. It actually has a tiny bit of storage in here which I love anything with storage and here is the second one and I am so psyched because they both have storage I love that and yeah they cost me 20 bucks here is my $20 garage sale bench set it works perfectly for my tiny space and we are gonna get so much use out of it then the next item that um, I got a bunch of baskets. Now you might be like, what in the world do you need with these baskets? I love giant baskets like this. First of all, they're just awesome for giveaways. Like if I'm going to do an in-person event, I can put lots of stuff in them or gift them to various shelters. I, and honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with these specifically. They happen to be nicer than most that I get because they're like a tray. And I really love that. One is round. They're huge. Do you guys see the size of them? And one is oval. Um, I love the idea of like hanging them up on my wall and actually maybe doing my giveaways in them for my YouTube channel. But I kind of love the idea of them being decor. Now, at one of the garage sales that I went to, which is one bag, I paid $20 for everything I'm gonna show you guys. And at another garage sale that I went to, it was actually a thrift store, but they were having like a garage sale in front of the thrift store. And those baskets were actually free. When I went to pay for them, they were like, oh, you could just have those, they're free. And I'm like, no, 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 I'll pay for them. And they were like, no, they're free. <laughs> and I was like, okay, they're free. And then this basket, which is like a fish, obviously, and I really sort of dig it. You could do whatever you want with. It's actually originally from Pier 1, which we all know went out of business. And it's made of like bamboo reeds. I think it's so cool. More than likely, I'm going to chalk paint this white or spray paint it white. It's going to get painted white. And I'm going to more than likely absolutely love it after that. Now, this one I have not yet washed, but it came with this one. And it was a dollar for all of them, but they don't really go together. These are pretty old, though, I will say. And I love stuff like this. It's some brand from England, something, Viner's of Sewenfeld, England. It's stainless steel and wood. It's from the 70s, maybe late 60s. Now this one probably came with maybe like a cheese thing or maybe it was part of a fondue set. I'm not really sure, but whenever I find things that have these wooden um, 
holders and then the stainless steel stuff. I love to buy them for charcuterie boards or if I'm going to make something hot, like if I'm going to, if I'm going to make something hot in the air fryer, I can actually cook in these stainless steel. So let's say I'm making a charcuterie board and I clean this, which I'm obviously going to clean it and it's, you know, shiny and new. I can put like the meats and crackers on here and I can melt cheese in the air fryer for us to dip in. Um, I just love stainless steel bake cooking ware and these are made in Japan. They're very vintage. It's hard to find them. I actually have washed these. I got six of them, but all of this was a dollar. So, I mean, I feel like it was a great buy. I can cook, I'm trying to find for, it says stainless steel Japan and something else that I can't make out, but I got six of them. They're heavy, heavy, like restaurant grade. You can bake scallops and butter in here, little individual shrimp scampies in the air fryer, all kinds of individual portions in these little stainless steel plates. And I love, I love doing stuff like that. So yeah, so I thought that those were a great buy at a dollar. Then I did get this, absolutely awesome. Okay, so the baskets were free. These here, stainless steel cooking things were a dollar. Then this, zero exposure, made in Bangladesh. It's an extra, extra large. It's an actual down vest. I don't know how much this retailed for, but I'm going to wash it and wear it. It fits me really cute. I love down vests. Absolutely love them. And it's just for a dollar. It's so lightweight and really nice. And before I know what's hit me, it's going to be winter and fall. And a down vest is always like a great buy. It's super comfy. You could drive around with it. You could wear something bulky under it or not bulky, wear a scarf. I just love vests and I love down. To get that for a dollar was an amazing deal. Like amazing. Then I saw this and I don't usually buy Christmas stuff, but it's super vintage and I really love the, I don't know. There's something about this scene that I just really, really like. It's very well made. It's like much heavy dutier than the pizza tins that the Dollar Tree sells. I kind of was thinking that I would put some holly on it and sort of upcycle it into some kind of a wall decor piece. Cause I just, it's got like frosting in it. I don't know if you guys can see. It's really nicely done for a tin. It's definitely older. It actually says that it's from 2003. So it's not, it's 20 years old. It's not super vintage. Wow, 2003 is is really 20 years ago. I can't accept that. I don't know what made me buy this. It's not something I typically buy, but I don't know. I just, I liked that it had like, it has, I just love that it has like a squirrel. And you guys see the, do you guys see like all the little animals? It has birds, a rabbit, a squirrel, and a deer. I just kind of love that. And then off in the distance, there's like a mom deer and a baby deer and the cute little house and the trees. It doesn't have people in it, no gnomes, no blue trucks. It's super old fashioned in a weird way and something about it really spoke to me. Now, the garage sale where they gave me the free bat, well, it was kind of a thrift store, but they were having a garage sale in the front, I guess of their own personal stuff. We'd got three of these super old, I just think they're really cool. I love it when things look like this. Cast iron, very heavy. And we got three of them. My husband's already started doing something with the other two. And he's probably going to need the third one because things go in threes. But um, I wanted to haul it. So I got all three of those. And they were free. They were free. Part, they were free. Now this, I got at a garage sale. It's actually never been opened. When I brought it home, my son tested it out. And I looked it up because I figured it would be like $10 or more, but it turns out it's from five and below and they just charged me a dollar for it. So it's called Unlocked and it's a keyboard. My son goes through keyboards, you guys don't even know, like all the time and I'm always ordering them from Amazon. So this is an LED gaming keyboard, light up, 
It has function hotkeys, USB contact. It's fine. It's perfect. It will be used and abused by his gaming self in no time. So for a dollar, I grabbed it. This could possibly be one of my favorite items. I already have a galvanized metal Pioneer Woman from Walmart mug rack like this, but I like that this one is black and I could always use another one. And I like that it has this basket in the middle because you could put paper plates in here. I kind of feel like that's awesome. And what is most likely going to happen is that whichever one of the two of them fits on my coffee bar is going to live there now. And then I'll have the other one for my, I don't have a lot of glasses in my house. I'm super clumsy, but we do have a lot of mason jars. And a lot of the time, if I open like a jar of Prego, like the jarred sauce, cause it comes in like, well, one of these actually a, like a jar like this, uh, I'll hold on to it. This is actually not my drink, but I'm going to take a sip. It's my husband's. I, it's not my drink because I'm not allowed to drink out of glass, but I do save things like that in the house because I break everything, but mason jars don't break for some reason. They're marina proof. So I just put them on this and then eventually I do break them. I'm not going to lie, but it takes me longer. I'm super clumsy, you guys. So whichever one has a smaller size, of course, I'm going to wash it. I haven't, these are literally coming out of the garage sale bag. Whichever one has a smaller diameter is going on my cocoa bar because that one is, well, the coffee bar, but it's because it's smaller. So I like that I have two now because I'm always alternating between mugs and sometimes things live in my dishwasher. I don't know if anybody else has that issue, but we just don't have space in this house for mugs and glasses. It's super duper tiny. I don't have like hundreds of mugs. I do get rid of them a lot. Um, I would say that I have maybe 20 mugs plus, I guess like six or seven mason jar, actual mason jars that I use for all kinds of things, leftovers, drinks, you know, you could use them for everything, but, um, I just don't have a lot of space. So this is definitely good. It's perfect for me. Then I got this for a dollar and I love, I love things like this because it's a long maxi tie dye looking dress. I, I don't think it's by anybody special, but I don't even have to wear it as a dress. I can wear it as a skirt. It's kind of like, you know, you could do whatever you want with it. It's just a tube, but it does have ruching, which would look really cool on the hips. And it's super stretchy and a maxi is great. And it was just a dollar. So for a dollar, you cannot go wrong. I love it. I absolutely love that. Now this was by Kirkland which is from BJ's Wholesalers or something like that, Kirkland, but it's really nice. It's like a rain, it's like a waterproof rain jacket. It has a hood. It actually had the tags on it when I got it. So the people that bought it never used it. And I just think that that is pretty cool for a buck. I think that for a buck, it's such a good deal. It's completely waterproof. It has a hood. It's a little stretchy, so it looks kind of like fitted and nice. And when you zip it up, it's very sleek and kind of A-line. I'm, I'm literally schwitzing right now. But um, for a buck, I grabbed it. And like I said, it had the tags on it. Whoever bought it never wore it. And I just think that's awesome for a dollar. Then <laughs> I saw this scarf, and it had to be mine. I'm going to wash it, but look at that print. It is just fantastic. I love it. I love things like that, like intricate damask prints. So pretty. Definitely going to love that in the fall. And then I saw this little cocoon sweater, and I always love things like this. It's just almost like a shrug. You guys get it. It's got a really pretty heathered, very like springy. It's made out of really nice, stretchy string. The way that it's, I don't know, the material that it's crocheted with is bouncy and wonderful. And I'm going to love this in the fall as well. And it was $1. This was my most expensive garage sale. Wait, was it really? 
no, 20 bucks for the tables was my most expensive purchase. But my second most expensive purchase of my garage sale day of all the stuff I'm going to show you guys was this. This was three bucks and so, so worth it. It's so cute. I love it. Absolutely love. I love dresses like this. I always wear dresses like this all summer. I'm always in dresses and flip flops and maybe little shrugs it was three bucks. Probably whoever bought it never wore it. It honestly doesn't feel worn. And it's by, it's a, it's by Eva Mendez from New York and company. It's a size extra large. Now, typically I don't wear extra large, but from New York and company, their cut is really big and dresses like from this. a garage sale from New York and company or something like that. I'm always so happy because honestly it fits me perfectly and I paid three bucks for it. There's, it's perfect. It's so cute. Isn't it a cute dress? A little keyhole in the breast area. I love, I really like it. It's really nice. I'm probably going to, I'm going to wash that and probably wear that tomorrow. It's so cute. Then I picked this up. I think the lady threw this in for free actually, but cause I have a thing for white flowy material, even if it's like dying. Um, they don't make shirts like this anymore with this huge drape. You guys remember these 90s shirts where you would wear another tank top inside of them? I love things like this and they're so hard to find. And the person who owned it loved it really well as well. But I love the layering effect that this gives the drape neckline. It's just so hard to find. You can pretty much only get it if you get it in a thrift store now because it's kind of from the 90s somewhere in the early 2010s you could still get them but i haven't seen them in a long time so i think she gave it to me for free but i'm gonna wash it in peroxide because it's a size large but old navy stuff it runs so big and i don't care if it fits me tight because i'll have like a black tank top inside of it or a black t-shirt or i'll layer it over a tube top dress maybe even the blue and white one. So it's going to be really cute. Now this was from Walmart. She probably paid a dollar for it too on clearance. It's a one X, but it fits me. It's that Terry and sky or Tara and sky brand from Walmart. So nothing was like super extravagant. It's just that I happen to really like everything I got. Now I love cold shoulder sleeves, but three quarter cold shoulder sleeves like this, my, are my favorite and it's connected to this like drapey super cool neckline with a three-quarter sleeve you guys will see me wearing it and it's like a tunic honestly with leggings it would probably look like I'm wearing a little dress and a long necklace I love stuff like this love 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 it for a dollar if I had seen that at Walmart I'd have bought it right from the get-go even at like 15 or 16 bucks i love that top and then i bought these two copper cute i don't know what i'm gonna do with them but i really dig them i was looking so hard to find the other copper candle holder because i just i love copper candle holders like this i think they're so gorgeous um i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with them but i may not use this as a candle holder because I would have liked it if I had like a third piece, but you know what? I'm not sure what I'm doing with them, but I'm going to do something cool with them. I might do that or I'm not sure. I really don't know, but look at how it has these little legs. It's really a cool, this is what I really, really liked, but they gave this to me with it for free. So I took it but I'm not certain what I'm doing with this. I think it's really cool that it's a candle holder. I kind of want to unscrew this and flip it over and put the candle part out here so that it's like, you guys get what I'm saying? I think I might like it more, but I'm not sure what I'm doing with them. I just love copper pieces like this. I They're just warm and during the holidays, especially Easter, I love copper metal in, in my house. It makes me really happy. And then last but not least from that garage sale, I got this gorgeous, super beautiful tunic. And it does have like a little belt that ties in the back. 
and it's yellow to go with my yellow leather um, bag that I love. And I'll just wear it with like a yellow or black tank top inside. You guys know that I love black and yellow together, obviously, for those of you who have been watching my channel because you just watched me do the Bumblebee Kind giveaway. And I did have a black and yellow shirt on in that video. And when I was really young, I had these amazing um, black and yellow platform sandals. And I wore black and yellow so often um, during that time because they were so comfy and gorgeous that I just always love how black looks set off by yellow. It makes me super happy. So I'm excited about that um, top. And it was just $1. Then, now all of these items are from an entirely different garage sale. But everything, again, everything was a dollar. It was like a place on someone's lawn, but they obviously have some kind of like a pallet buying business or something like that. I actually took one of these out and started using them. But um, I got a bunch of, I think I bought five altogether. I've uh, made some emergency packs, so I used some of them up already, but I did get $5 worth. Honestly, I wanted to spend a ton of money at that garage sale, but we were on our way to Connecticut on that day. It's so crazy how these things happen to me. On the day that I stopped at this garage sale, I wanted to buy everything. I was like, oh my God, can I come back tomorrow with cash and just buy like whatever's left? Because it was the perfect, the perfect garage sale to just buy what was left over and donate it. I mean, boxes of maxi pads, boxes of tampons. I had 20 bucks cash on me. John had no money on him. Chris had no money on him. And we were running super late to go to Connecticut. I'm trying to remember what it was for, but it was really important. And if I went to the bank or got cash, they would have killed me. So I had to spend whatever I had on me. And I think, I think I spent $20. Let me see, five. I think I spent 20 bucks. Some of the items I may have already given away, but I spent $20 and I got everything here, everything I'm about to show you guys for 20 bucks. So like I said, I got five boxes of miscellaneous tampons, but the other two were these, cause these were the best deal. There are 50 tampons in here and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. The boxes are messed up. When I opened the other ones and made the emergency um, packs, the, the maxi pads are fine. They're literally fine. Now this one has, um, 28 in it. I tried to pick ones that had the most amount in them, but they were all a dollar. And this one has 36. Like I said, I actually used some out of here one day when I was having an emergency. Um, this one was open, but there was nothing wrong with it. They're all sealed. There's nothing wrong with them. People need those and they're plastic inside. They're not even the paper because sometimes if they're the paper covering, I'm like, eh, those are skeevy but they're plastic. See, they're plastic covered. These are amazing, amazing donations. And the ones that I already made, these are the Jumbo Ultra Leak Guard Protection Tam Packs. So I labeled them uh, Ultra. The other box, other two were different sizes. And when I made the emergency packs, I just actually put a post-it, which is another reason why I like to buy post-its, saying that they were what, like what type they were. Because they don't necessarily know. You know, when you make those emergency bags, people don't necessarily know what size that tampon is because not everybody buys tam packs, not everybody. So I like to say, you know, super protection or medium protection in case some people need that. And what I like to put in emergency packs like this, now this is just me, but it's what I like to do. I like to use, um, I, I always have little bottles of lotion from like hotels because I buy them online. I don't go on vacations all that much, but I buy them in bulk because it's perfect for like emergency little packs like this. I like to get little bottles of hand wash or body wash or hand lotion, whatever I have on hand at the time. And I like to put um, wipes like uh, antibacterial wipes or individual wrapped wipes Recently, the Dollar Tree had some actually that were phenomenal, 12 for $1.25, and they were individually wrapped. But 
they don't always have individually wrapped wipes. So I do end up ordering things like that on eBay or Mercari because that's perfect for emergency packs like this. And so I'll usually put um, some chocolate of some kind that's individually wrapped because, you know, chocolate, your period, women kind of enjoy that. And I like to put them in little Ziploc bags or whatever cool thing I have at the time. Um, then I picked this up to give it a shot. It is Pro X by Olay Advanced Cleansing System. Better, six times better than basic cleansing. Two speed facial cleansing brush, exfoliating renewal cleanser, and it takes two AA batteries, limited edition red, and it comes with the exfoliating renewal cleanser. That's an amazing dollar purchase. And um, I actually picked up two of these because it was a dollar and it looks so cool. Like, so cool. And you get the brush, which needs batteries. And you get all the products in here. The anti-aging. Ooh, ooh, I didn't even realize this. It comes with a bonus of age repair lotion. It comes with the cleanser for obviously the brush, but it also comes with this anti-aging repairing lotion and I got that's awesome and they were a dollar for all of that that's a fantastic fantastic deal I, I love places like that it's so cool so I picked up two of those never been used brand new then these were a dollar and this is frizz ease smooth control defrizzing and nourishing conditioner it has a step two conditioner. The thing is that uh, these were a dollar with the free product attached to it. Now, what this is, is this is for curly hair and it's actually impossible to say to see it. But uh, this is the step four transforms wilted waves and curls into screwy curves and spirals. Alcohol free formula leaves hair silky, never crispy dream curls by frizz ease now i happen to love john frida products love them and i'm going to share this with my friend kathy because she has super kinky curly hair and i know she's gonna love that product so so i got one pack of those for her one pack for me and then i also got this one which i don't have a clue what it is it is the conditioner also free but then on the inside I don't know what we have here, but we're about to find out. So I do have two of the extra strength formula conditioners, which I happen to love. I love John Frieda products, but I'm probably going to give these to my friend Kathy because these are more for uh, it's defrizzing, nourishing conditioner for extra strength formula for coarse extremely frizzy or curly hair and she has super curly hair now this is an ingenious blow dry spray this is right up my alley straightening spray and it's called frizz e straight answer 6.7 ounce brand new i somehow did lose the cap but it had it these were never ever used obviously and it says that this ingenious blow dry spray delivers straight out style, softens, defrizzes, and keeps hair straight without the weight. Love it for $1 plus the conditioner. I mean, you can't ask for anything more. Then I went a little greedy crazy on the next bunch of things I'm going to show you guys, but I couldn't help myself because I'm obviously probably going to be a redhead for life. So, I mean, let's think about this a minute. A dollar today versus $20 tomorrow. You can't beat that. And what I have here is, okay, so I have, um, first of all, I do add color to all of my hair products. That I will say. Uh, everything I own that I use for my hair has red in it. But this is an amazing product. And if you are a redhead or you use color in your hair of any kind, you will love well, like reds or burgundies, you guys get what I'm saying, or um, not permanent color, a semi-permanent color. It still helps for that too. But I use a permanent red 
But red just doesn't sit in your hair. It always wants to leave, even if it's permanent. It's a lie. Nothing is forever, my friends. So this bonus trial size with purchase of Radiant Red Shampoo, that is 8.4 ounce, has this little... So do you guys see that? I have the shampoo and conditioner, $2. And each one of them has, what is this that I got with it? It has a color sealer. So both of these little tubes, these are like ampules that after you dye your hair, um, not the first time, because the first time you're good, but the next time you're gonna shampoo your hair, you could use this. And these are expensive, actually. I think they're $9.99 each. I've used them. Um, a dollar for each of these, $1, $2. So of course I picked up several. Now this, this set right here, the darker red set is color last and color keep. And it says for deeper, richer shades of red hair. And they, they both help maintain the hair, but see like right now, since it's been summer, I've gone to a darker shade of red because I've been in a lot of chlorine and I don't want it constantly fading out. So it is fading out, but it's fading out less than if I had the bright red. So I'm a little bit of an anomaly because most people go brighter and redder in the summer, but I do the opposite because since I have a pool, I use, you see like it is fading, but not as badly. So I can use the darker one right now since I use the formula that's a little darker in my hair this time around, but then, for when I use the brighter red, I got these and I got two other sets um, of the Color Last Conditioner, again, with a little ampule that um, helps keep seal the color in. And then I got two shampoos. So I'm kind of set for probably a year. Maybe I'll gift one set to a redhead. I wonder if there are any redheads uh, watching this that would like a shampoo and conditioner in the bright red because now I feel a little greedy that I bought them but the lady told me that was the other thing that was making me crazy the lady who was throwing the garage sale I never finished telling you guys the story she was having knee surgery the next day so I couldn't come back and the boys wouldn't let me go to the bank and I was like but wait wait a minute what are you gonna do with all of this stuff you're not gonna sell it all it's pretty late already what are you gonna do with it you should donate it to my organization I'll come back tomorrow I'll give you a tax thing um I, I'll, you can bring it with me to donate it if you'd like she was a really cool nice lady and she was like well I'm ha she was like I'm having knee surgery and I kind of want it all out of here and she said she was gonna throw it away and I was like Oh my God, I'm about to have a, a complete mental breakdown. But then another lady was like, no, 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 I'll take it and I'll donate it for you. You're not throwing anything away. So, and it was like one of her neighbors. So at least this stuff got donated, but that's why I'm like, I bought whatever I could that I could buy because I was like, nobody's going to, what are the chances that they're going to get donated somewhere and the person's going to need red? Not everybody dyes their hair like a bright red. So I was like, these have to go home with me. But she had so many red, like red. They There was like some for blondes and brunettes. But I, I mean, I actually buy the Radiant Red stuff. It's not cheap. Then I have some other little exciting items that I grabbed at the sale. She had hundreds of these. I wish that I could have bought hundreds of them because at a dollar, these are absolutely amazing. But then the universe gave me even more amazing ones through the gifts that I was given uh, for donation purposes by Tanya Southern Mimi, who if you guys didn't see that donation haul, you missed an amazingly generous bunch of beautiful donations donated by my friend. But I was actually devastated on this day because I'm like, wow, you never get makeup bags that size, that quality. I don't care if they're supposed to be for guys. I could have made them for ladies and it doesn't really matter to me because the women would appreciate it either. I mean, honestly, to be honest with you, I would totally use this makeup bag. It's super well made. It's by Echo Unlimited since it says eight, 1972, the year I was born. And it's red on the inside, which I think is pretty nice. And it's just intensely, incredibly good quality. So I did grab a handful of these 
because I really wanted to buy them all. And then it's what I had in the bin. I was hoping that I could, I was hoping that I could have her hold the stuff, like a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff, give her my number and I would have come back the next day. But she just didn't want this stuff at her house anymore since she was having surgery. And, and I get it. So, you know, when you're about to have a procedure like that, you just want to know that you're coming home to like a super clean house. And I understood, but I was a little bummed. And then I did grab, maybe I'll use those for like family gifts because I didn't get a ton, but I just love that they are red. They, this one has like a red, this one has like a red lining to the zipper. It's really cool. I, don't, I think I only got one of this one or two. I think I might've gotten two of these. One may be in the trunk of my car and it's by Sean John and it's a men's makeup bag obviously but again anybody can use it it would be a great emergency donation i have been stalking that lady's house because her knee surgery's got to get better soon and you never know what might crawl out of her garage you just never know but do you guys see how nice isn't that beautiful it's very high end and it has a little pocket here it's great for storing all kinds of things i might use this for my own personal use um to store my husband's like hair clippers and stuff like that and the boys you know hair cutting stuff because it's really nice and I just got one of them and then I got this super cool item as well I think it's so nice really nice it is it looks like that super pretty closure and then again it was just a dollar and then you open it up and it's like a really nice little travel case isn't that nice? This will definitely be in a future subscriber appreciation gift. I don't know who made this. For some reason, I thought that it had a BCBG label on it. And it may very well have, but it does not anymore. And this one is by Paul Mitchell. It's so nice for your travel. And you guys see that? Paul Mitchell. So I love it. I think it's beautiful. Really, really cool. And... You guys will definitely be seeing that one again in the near future. You can put uh, shampoo, conditioner, jewelry. You can put whatever you want in there. But um, it's supposed to be for toiletries. But again, you could use these things for anything. They're supposed to be for guys, but a woman could use them. There's no laws or rules about it. There are no rules when it comes to that. But for me, the rule of thumb is, when garage sailing, if you can get it for a dollar, you definitely have done a good job. And so I feel like I really did do a good job. I got awesome things for just a dollar because the truth is most of the time people that are doing garage sales, they just want to get rid of the stuff. And if I'm at a garage sale where it's stuff like this and they want more than a dollar, I just won't buy it because I don't need it. I don't need it. I want to donate it. But if I have to pay more than a dollar for it, inevitably I can get something somewhere else for a dollar. So to me, these were awesome finds. I'm super excited. I mean, I probably would have bought some of these at $2 or two for $5 because honestly, this is a fantastic deal and I do buy this product. But all the, oh, I have one more item. I have one more item. Okay, last but not least, I got this Crest Spin Brush Pro Whitening with special whitening bristles. And I got two of these. So I think the lady threw in some makeup bags for free because I actually don't remember buying this many of these makeup bags. And I definitely have over 20 items. So I think she threw some of the Echo Unlimited bags for free, but I got two of these. My son is already using one and, um, Either he might be ready for a new one soon or I'll use it, but it's never been used. It's a little dusty, but that's just the packaging for a dollar. This is way more than a dollar in the stores. And I was super psyched to buy it. And even if it needs a battery, it's not a big deal. I'll just change the battery out. So that is everything I picked up at the garage sale. Well, at three garage sales in total. One was just the benches. And I love garage sailing. I love garage sailing in the summer. I love estate sailing in the winter. But what I absolutely love is having like a limit. To me, if it's not a dollar, it has to be insanely amazing. Because 
these are items that I can pick up at the Dollar Tree or somewhere else for around a dollar or something like them. Most of the time I buy things for donations or I'm getting something cute to wear, but you know, it's a garage sale. I give clothing away. I have plenty of clothing. So if it's not a dollar or two for, you know, five dollars, honestly, a dollar. A garage sale, everything should be a dollar. That is my rule. When I have my garage sale, most of my things are a dollar. Or I just tell people, take this box, fill it, give me 10 bucks. People are happy. That's how I do garage sales. So what's your limit at a garage sale? Like, what's your garage sale rule? Do you have any? And um, that's everything, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my garage sale haul. If you did, please leave a comment down below and my, give my video a thumbs up. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.